Many different types of games have often one thing in common, and that is the camera position. In most of the games, we can see that the character that we as players control is in the center of our camera. So how can we achieve the same effect in Godot? Let me show you. To make our character in the center of the screen, we need to make a camera follow the player. And that's why it can be static. We should make a dynamic camera that will move along with the character body 2D that we have created. And no matter movement logic that you have for your character, in most cases it will be the same. In my game I've got 2D character that is placed in a top-down world. And the logic for his movement is very simple. You can learn more about it in the video that's in the corner. So let's close the game and in my scene I've got the player scene that has the character body 2D and to this scene I need to add child node that will be camera 2D and if we scroll back you can notice the purple frame. That is the frame of our camera. And when we run the project, you can notice that when I'm trying to control my character, the camera moves along. And with a few more touches, we will make it even better. So here in the camera 2D, I'll add the zoom to it. It will be 7. The purple frame is now very close to the character. I'll make it a bit darker, save it, and run the whole project. And that's how you can make a camera follow the player in Godot. It's very simple, just adding the camera 2D node to the player scene, then adjusting the zoom, and that's the final effect. You can also make the camera more dynamic, just going here into the inspector, position smoothing, and click enabled. Here's the speed, let's leave it at 5 pixels and that way when you move your character the camera will follow but slightly delayed. It's a very nice effect and when you stop the camera catches to the character. There is also a drag and it will prevent your camera from moving if the character is still nearby the center of the camera. And that's the result. You can notice that I can move around without moving the camera. It's also a nice effect. I encourage you to spend some time in the inspector of your camera to denote and play around with those values. Don't stop your education right here and click on the next video to learn more about Godot. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. See you in the next video.